Hello, I'm Indy, and welcome to part 5 of my Doom Pistol Start playthrough. You see, they give you the shotgun and a lot of ammo immediately, so maybe this will be another easy one, but we'll see. Let's go! A lot of shotgunners here, so we won't be starving for shotgun ammo anytime soon. Let's see. Ooh, a specter. Trying to sneak up behind me, but he couldn't resist growling at me. A lot of barrels. I think I remember this level and it's a very good one. We'll try to find four secrets. Let's go right first, shall we? Ooh, that was some bad shooting on my part. What do we have here? Ah, the red key. And a chain gun. So, we'll definitely not be having any issues in the ammo and gun department in this level. Let's not get closed in here. Let's explode some barrels. Always a good tactic to thin out the crowd. And just very slowly take care of the entire room here. But I can see that this is a pretty scary trap for first time players. But it's a nice open room, so nothing too terrible. Yes, explosions. I don't know if you guys uh, have heard about this, but John Romero has made two replacement uh, maps last year, I think, for the first episode of Doom. Um, as I said in a previous video, he made most of the first episode back in the day. Only episode uh, 1, map 4, Command Control, was uh, started by Tom Hall and he finished it. And the final map of this episode was made by Sandy Peterson and Tom Hall. That's the map you could call a boss map. And... Um, so he didn't make those two entirely by himself and since he's trying to make a new shooter game, a new first person shooter, he was trying to get back into that groove of making maps and decided to make two replacement maps for, um, for the two maps that he didn't make entirely himself. And I was thinking about doing those two in a bonus episode. They might be a little bit tricky though for a, a pistol start run because they are pretty hard. They don't really fit in f uh, in the flow of the game since they are, in my opinion, a lot harder than any other of the maps in episode 1. But I think it should be fun to just play them in a bonus episode. Let's see. This all loops around, yes. I haven't found a secret yet though, maybe they're harder to find than I thought in this one, but we'll see. But as I predicted, this is another easy level. Since Doom, even on Ultra Violence, is a little bit on the easy side on itself, if they give you a lot of ammo and some guns early on in the map then the pistol start isn't really that much of a challenge but there will be harder levels to come so we can look forward to that okay what do we have through here is this okay this leads to a maze part that's a part you can best play while using a lot of your map, so you don't get lost. And I think that bio suit over there 
that hazard suit. I should keep that because there's a secret back there, I think so. Let's try not to pick that up accidentally. Okay, this is a first secret, yes. And our yellow key. Monster closes with lots of enemies, but nothing we can't handle. I'm feeling really confident in this level. Maybe I should be a little bit more careful. Because I am wasting ammo now. But I think we'll be okay anyway. But let's just hope I'm not overly confident. Now, how do I get out of here? Uh, that's a good question. must have been right next to it since it didn't open for me there I was getting a, I was getting a little bit panicky over there thinking that I might uh, might have locked myself in I didn't think that would happen but you never know I think that this way is now open let's just check yeah so we'll go get the suit now and see what we have down here Yes, it's a secret. Ooh, a lot of shotgunners there. But we are having all the ammo we could possibly need for the shotgun, so... This is a little bit overkill. Let's take the supercharge. Is there anything else here? Now we can probably just uh, exit this through here. Yeah, I heard the door open. Taking a little bit of damage here, but that's okay. Yeah, we are getting uh, into the bigger maps here. With lots of enemies. So it's a lot of fun to play. I now also have all the keys. I have been playing this a little bit uh, out of order, I feel, but uh, that's okay. Let's go back to that maze part that I was talking about earlier. I think it's right through here, yes. And if I'm not mistaken, there is also another secret in there. See, it? This room repeats itself constantly, making it a little bit of a maze and a little bit confusing. But as I said, with the map, there shouldn't be any problems. Ah, here. You see the armor pickups on the ground here? They form a little arrow, showing you where there's a secret. Ah, it doesn't even... Nope. It doesn't really trigger as a secret, probably because it's so obvious, but it, give you the, it gives you the computer area map, and as far as I know, that's the first time in the game, I think, you can get that, and that shows you the entire map, so it's really easy now to just scout out where you haven't been, and where the last remaining secrets could be. If you're new to Doom, let me quickly explain how this works. I now have the entire map, as you can see, and the lines that are a bit more bluish, a bit more white, 
these are not really colored in that means that I haven't been there yet so as you can see it looks here down to the left that I might have missed something over there so let's go there first shall we if I can find my way quickly this is back at that secret over here but I couldn't find this door to get back out and let's see where that area was that's not the right way it's through here I think yes let's see So I'm not getting in through here, so we'll have to go through the other side. As you can see with the computer area map, it's really easy to spot uh, potential secrets. Probably have to fall in here, that might... Yes, it might damage me a little bit, but they give you a supercharge. And we found the third secret. And this is probably the way out. And they give me the mega armor. And this counts as secret number four. So now I'm very good doing in the ammo department. I'm at full health, or almost, and at full armor. So I guess we can say that this map is almost done. Or is there still a fiendish trap waiting for us? We shall see in the next episode no i'm just kidding <laughs> i'll just finish this map cliffhanger did i throw this switch yet uh, maybe not let's see that opens the final part yes it does let's kill the uh, pinky Oh yes, I remember this part. There is a fiendish trap waiting for me. And a rather difficult one. Because as I said earlier, that earlier trap in the level wasn't all that hard. Since it was in a wide open space and you had all the room you could possibly want to maneuver out of the way. This room is a lot smaller. Making it a more effective trap and definitely a very difficult trap for first time players. I know it's coming now and I'm not 100% sure if I'll make it. I think I will though. I'm doing really well so I should make it. I just clear all those out. And then when I press that switch, oh no. When I enter this, the trap springs. So lots of enemies. But something I haven't realized before, they give you the opportunity to escape, making it a little bit less as annoying as I thought it would be. And a little bit easier. But if you're panicking as a first time player or as a veteran and you're still panicky, then you might get closed in and that's a lot of enemies to take care of in a very short time span. Okay, I think we have uh, everything now so we can just go to the exit. some more specters well if you weren't careful and press that switch immediately during the springing of the trap then uh, you would have had to deal with those specters too making it a little bit more harder again and there's one left where is he oh there he is ah, still missing four enemies are they in here Hmm. 
Where could I be? Let's have a look, a little look here, see if I missed anything. I might have missed them in the maze because I didn't really go through that all thoroughly. But that's okay, we'll just leave him there in eternal torment. And we'll just accept this map. If I can still find the door, that is. Why is this door closed, I wonder? Hmm. Ah, it opens when I go over these stairs here. Let's go through here. Through the exit. And that was it for central processing. As you can see I missed a couple of kills, got all the secrets. And I had a lot of fun, it's a great level this one. And I hope you had fun too. Leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.